Hey guys, I'm Brian and welcome to my shop. Uh, so for a long time I've wanted carbide lathe tools, but I also didn't want to spend more than $100 per tool. So I did some looking around online and I found that other people were making them. Um, but I didn't really find any videos that showed specifically how to make them. There were some that went kind of this is what you do and this is how I did it but none that were actually step-by-step step showing you how it's done. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. Um, I've made three of them. The easy rougher, easy finisher, and the easy detailer. I did use easy wood tools, um, carbide cutters. Uh, other than that, uh, everything else I either had or uh, purchased online. What you're going to need is a uh, half inch solid steel bar stock. So it's um, half inch square for the um, metal part of the tool. You're gonna need some wood. I used oak, it's just some scrap that I had uh, here in the shop. You're gonna need these three quarter inch copper couplings uh, for plumbing. And of course, your cutter and some epoxy. Um, surprisingly easy to do. I'm not a metal worker at all. I've actually never worked with metal, ever. Um, but it was a lot of fun and they work really well. I'm really glad I did it. So uh, here's how you can make some of your own. So here's our half inch square stock. Uh, I'm making mine, or rather I'm cutting it at 14 and a half inches, so eight and a half but the bar is going to protrude through the handle and the other six inches will be in the handle. And you just use your standard angle grinder to cut it off. So the next step here is to uh, grind out the area where the cutter is actually going to sit. This particular tool is going to have the circle cutter on it. So we need to be able to recess that that cutter into the bar so that it's flush with the top. Again, just use your standard angle grinder. And that's about how it should fit once you get the recess ground out. Now the next thing I like to do is flip it over and sort of round over the bottom edge of it. All right, so once that's done, the next thing you want to do is mark where you're going to drill the hole for the screw. So just line the, the cutter up on there so that you have an equal amount hanging over both sides. And I like to use a, I like to use a Sharpie marker just to Put a dot right in the center of it there. And we take it over to the drill press. All right, so now you're just going to start with a small dab of oil on your stock. All 
All right, so I've replaced the drill bit from the tap and die set with a 3 16th inch drill bit, and I'm just going to make the beginning of the hole slightly wider to accommodate the uh, uh, flared out portion of the screw. And now I'm just going to clean it up with a file real quick. All right, so now that we have the hole drilled, we have to uh, tap it. We got to put threads on it. If you're using the Easy Wood Tool cutters, the screws that come with them are uh, they're, they're number eight. The size is number eight, and they have 32 threads per inch. So that's the uh, size tap that you need. When you're making these threads, if you feel it getting tight in there, just back it off a little bit and start going back through again. You don't want to put too much pressure on this tap. This is actually my second tap. I broke the first one. And there we go, all the way through. Let's uh, see if the screw fits. Now let's add the cutter. And there it is. And I'll just clean up the bottom with a file now too. All right, so the next step is to um, start making your handles. Basically, I have a one and a half inch wide strip of oak that is three quarters of an inch thick, and I'm going to route a groove into each one that is six inches deep, so that once we glue them together, we'll have a square that is a half an inch by one half of an inch. All right, so one thing I did was I went back and I went over this groove again so that there's just a little bit of play in there so that there's going to be room for the epoxy. We put them together and it'll slide in and out pretty easily. All right, now it's time to glue these handles together. All right, so I'm making three of these. So I've got six handle halves to glue up. All 
All right, so once uh, your handles are all glued up, it's time to turn them. I'm actually using one of the lathe tools that I'm building in this video to turn this handle. Um, they work really well. Uh, one thing you want to do is make sure that you measure the part that the brass coupling goes over. That's what I'm cutting there. And just shape it to, you know, whatever suits you. I kind of went with the actual easy wood tool design because I don't really know what I'm doing. And I just sanded it up and finished it with uh, some wax. Alright, so the last step, once you put on the copper coupling, it's just a three quarter inch copper coupling you get from your plumbing supply in your home store. Uh, once you attach that to your handle, the next thing we do is epoxy in cutter. And I've got some epoxy mixed up here. And just spread it on the last you know, four inches or so. And we'll Drizzle what's left over here into the handle. And last step, let's put it all together. Clean up any epoxy squeeze out. And that's it. You've got carbide tipped lathe tool. Very similar, actually, uh, I would say almost identical to uh, the ones that you can buy online.